Yesum is a Wawi K, commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Seven Star of River State Life Bencher. Yes, so we can number one. Oh, aye. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, the Zonal Chairman of our Great Party, the Chairman of Elders Council, the former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, members of the National Assembly, Deputy Speaker, State House of Assembly, former Deputy National Chairman of our Party, the gubernatorial candidates who, by the grace of God, will be our successor and his deputy, members of the State Executive Council, the Director General of River State, PDP, gubernatorial, senatorial, House of Rest and Assembly, Campaign Council, leaders of our state, former Senior President, Senator John Azutan Bata, the Chairman of Ahuda West and Ahuda East, Chairman of the University of Traditional Blast Council, and members of the Traditional Blast Council, the SBA Nobody Third, and members of their council, the Newell Emoha, and Hassan Chidi Awusi. Our dear leaders, our dear youth, our dear women of Ebay and then Guinea, the leaders of our party that are here, and the lovers of Ebay and then Guinea, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all thank God Almighty for giving us the opportunity today to be part of history making. It is not an easy thing that some communities in River State, a state that are just to be rich in everything. Yet, some communities are not accessible by road. It's most unfortunate. But I'm glad, to the glory of God, that it is at our time that these communities are going to be assessed by road. The bad people through the chairman of Ahura West, you have spoken. You have said that I've done everything for you, but you need more. I need something from you, too. One good turn deserves uh, another. You have asked for this, I've given you. You have asked for this, I've given you. You want this more, I'll give you. But you have to start the voting revolution in this country. Do you understand me? The revolution by making sure all those that hate River State that we will not vote for them. You have to start it. So don't just say you want this, you want this. I will give you, you too, you will give us. Not be so. Not be so. You do for me. You fall for me. You like me. You hate me. I hate you. But before I start, let me say this. Let me say this clearly to all of us. It's like some traditional rulers don't think anything can happen. Let me say clearly. I'm not one of those people that anybody can take me for a ride. I respect people. I respect the institution, but please don't take that for granted. 
I came into government. I mean, had only one first class, only one. Only one. I know how many times that as a Wuche tried and tried and tried to persuade the university government to upgrade as a water to first class. I know how many times. Even my predecessor, as a Wuche, did everything. He was ignored. He was ignored till he died. The road linked to as a witch's house was not done. I came and I know the role that as a witch played not only in the creation of River State but the development of the uh, River State. I saw a different time mindful when I came on board and I did say, look, everybody people you are one of those ethnic nationalities in terms of population, or whatever anybody to just run a Huda, supposed to be one of the developed towns. And I did my best, and I recognized the stool of Ezopata and upgraded it to first class. And I had pleaded with so many traditional areas, I have never come to anybody for you to change or bring down your stool simply because I'm governor. No, I have never done that. And I had warned that it be careful. Be careful on the way you play politics. And even romance and play politics against the government that recognizes your stool. I will not hesitate. I will not. I will not. It doesn't matter whoever is involved. I will deal with that. Person. I have been careful. I have been warning. Don't tell you think. You call me here, you call me here, in law, in law, in law. I won't take it. Don't insult the seat of government. Nobody will take it. And I want to, this is the last time. And all of you who are here should hear me clearly. Tell you what that to stop playing politics with us too. You should stop playing politics with us too. I won't take it any longer. I have to say it now. So I won't say that I did not tell you. And I've told the chairman of the Universal National Rules Council, please call him to order. I know what I passed through to upgrade us too. You can't use what I've built to fight me. I'll fight back. I'll fight back. So nobody should think that, oh, in law, in law, in law for what? In law for what? So I just felt I should tell you, don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you. As a man, nobody told. Tell your traditional council to behave themselves. Respect, everybody should respect the institution. And that's what I have always liked. I mean, I mean, I just, I, I'm a sitting governor. And I see a recognized traditional ruler playing politics, telling the man who recognized him, who are you? You think I will take it? Will I take it? You want me to take it? I will not take it too. Everybody make a door. Ebani Mekano! Oh, cho 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 cho! So, I feel I should let our people know. Even though I'm going in the next three, four months, one hour is enough to do whatever I will do. Let me say something clearly. I'll be hearing of Ozocho, 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 Ozocho. It is nice, Ozocho. Deputy Speaker, every time when we are doing that road to Chibudon's, uh, where is that Chibudon village? Sir? So Chibudon, you are from one village. Every time you say, me, 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 me I'm from town, you are from village. So he came to me and said, look, Ozocho. I said, where is Ozocho? 
They say you have to be bridge. I say, hold on. Every day, Deputy Speaker will cry. How will he leave office? And there will no road linking his uh, cabinet. And you know, there are people you are looking towards in future who will be leaders of this state. You must have to train young men who will take over and begin to make this state to look better than what we are seeing uh, today. I think this young man is one of those young men we are looking forward to. You said that uh, Hope Ikurigo is a reverend. I don't know Hope. They say a reverend. I don't know where he became a reverend. I know you as a politician. So this one now that you have added another reverend. Re reverend well, but I know you politic well. Ben Eke, the two chairmen, all of them, they have been with us right from when I was struggling to be governor. All of them stood firm to support us as governor. What time? People tried to attack them, but they have continued to remain firm, supported by Chukuru Muche and all of them. All of them. Former chairman of Ahuda East, Stephen uh, Ihua Mbadwe. So many of them were snagged, all of them. I can't call all their names here. They are the main And I've said, look, when I came to campaign in Ahuda, I said, look, take this project as your project, that you will never regret it. I said so. You know, I said, whatever you do, consider that you are doing it for yourself. If you support me, you are supporting yourself. If I become governor, you are the governor. Today, it has shown it, is it not? Has it not shown? There is nothing. And I tell people who care, whether you like it or not, I will I leave office. And those who gave me wife, those who gave me beautiful and well-trained children, cannot say they produce a governor who is an in-law. What would I say? Even if it is too much that remaining for me, whatever we will do, we will do it for you. And so, I will do everything that is necessary and that is possible. Yes, some people who have come here may not be happy with us. If you are not happy, you can hold yourself a transformer. But you are not happy that I'm doing something in my in-laws' place. You too, don't do something for your in-laws. I see whether you'll be a good husband. Me, I want to be a good husband. I want to sleep and sleep very well with my two eyes uh, closed. So I hope you could have come here that a contract was awarded by the previous administration and was abandoned. We will take it over again. Show the road. While you are writing there, you are telling me another one as a hope. Put that one in your pocket. You are abusing this and lot it down. I didn't hear that one. The one I heard you said before the public is the Lumba Oshobole Road. If you knew that one was awarded, you should have said it in the public. So you know where that one is. I don't know about that one. But let me also say here. The people of Ahuda West, I'm not happy with you. I gave you government school of school, Kaki. I paid 100%. He will chop the money. He did not finish the job. You know, you know, you know, if I send you to a president, say we can see him, after supporting him, he has sent us to 
prison. Yes, but you won't tell people. A school for your own people. Government paid you the money. 100%. You refuse to finish it. Is that good? No. Is that good? No. You know, I'm tired of Nigerian politics. Tired. Your own people, your project that is supposed for the benefit of your people. If the money was not given, let us say the money was not given. Here we pay 100%. Are you people not ashamed? You are here. You are here. After tomorrow, you say you will kill me. Eluna Kambo. Eluna Kambo. Akambo. Eluna Kambo. Eluna Kambo. Akambo. Tomorrow now, you will kill me. Only God will bear me witness. If I apply sanction now, you run and join Abuja. You go and tell them fake, fake stories. But what do I do? Will I allow the people to suffer? No. Will I allow the people to suffer? No. Yeah. It's only God and your conscience will be dealing with you. I've taken over the project, but today I'm going to reward it to other people to finish. My wife said... you are politicians, before you kill people, check your conscience, know whether what you are doing is right or not. Whatever we do, we must know that somebody who's called a creator, that oversees whatever we do. And that's why all those who fight me cannot survive. Because my hands are... If I have not offended you, if I've done you good, you turn around to kill me. You will die uh, first. About one ago, no be so. So those of you who are looking at me, who did that, who started that attack in school, didn't finish. You see. Oh, you could go, Reverend. Oh, you could go, Reverend. Emphasis. Is that should organize? Obey my for Bogolo. Well, so that you won't tell my wife to come back. It's recognized. But I cannot do that without recognizing my own immediate in law too. So I will also recognize them. So everything you, everything you requested for, I've given you. Is that not true? We have done Ndiyama Okaki. Not be so. Now we are going back to government around this school, uh, Okaki. Now we are doing this road again. We have done Odo internal uh, roads. That's one road we are doing. We all of you are lady and young boys to be kidnapping people, killing people, and the contractors have left the site. You see, uh, and and you are all here. That is a road bridge that will help your people. And you allow your boys to kidnap the, those who are working for your own benefit. And the contractor said, look, we won't allow their staff to die. Even though we are paid 100%, they say, well, it's not their business. What kind of life are we living? What kind of life is this? They are not drilling oil. They are not working to drill oil. They are working to get road for you to use. And then our boys will be going kidnapping them. And they have left the site. And that's why when Satrago was coming here, they came, they said, sir, <laughs> they will not come. I had to call Edison. I said, my friend, he said, you need this road. Come and sign on that taking road. Is that the way we continue to live? You are crying that also she does not have a road. No road linking them. And government has come to do the road, to link your community. Instead of you to come out and own the project, you allow us again to begin to kidnap the workers, to sabotage our own development. What kind of system is this? 
sabotaging your own growth. And you, those of you who are set as regulars, you talk to the gods of the land. Man. What are the gods doing? What are the gods doing? Yeah, one, you know only the gods when you want to go and shout chicken and uh, this is. Why not tell the gods? Call them. What are to wake up. Oh. Tell them. If they don't wake up, I'll go and put those where you people put all those heads. Eh, they to wake up. Look at what is going on. Nobody saying anything. Every day. And this. You go and pour the nation. Tell them. There's a bear lobo. Tell your girls to wake up. Oh. If not, I'll go there and flog them. Oh. <laughs> she go and wake up. You know, Challenge the gods. Tell them. If you are the gods of a bear land, why would they allow this thing to happen? Challenge them. That is why when you have problem, you call the creator. And say if you are the creator, show me now that you are the creator. You see whether you won't come down. You two who is worshipping those uh, white white thing, challenge them. Not when you come and present Kona. He tells me in a bear land, hey, the gods say this. They tell the god they shouldn't be saying anything. They should not stop those, things, those boys are being. Now the only thing I will know that the girls are there. Not when you are presented a uh, uh, color. In a bear land, color says this. In a bear land, bitter color is this. In a bear land, uh, alligator pepper is this. It means this. Show it in action. You see? Today we are here. Tomorrow we will be in Ahura East again to flag out Otemude Road. On Friday, we will be in Abu Adwa to flag out another road. Not be so. Not be so. If your house of red person told you, tell him to put it in the in the NDC. Because I'm not, I will not do everything for you people. If your house of rest told you that, tell him fa fa fa. NDDC, the order. That was why I was saying if NDDC is alive, I don't know to have done this road to connect to Ozochi. It's not true. All of you who are National Assembly, go and put the budget in the NDDC. Go and, go and put their measures as a good end. Not to allow them to put uh, 4 billion. In the stealing of uh, uh, sanitation in Portugal, 60 billion to give one security agency to build a safe home when we are supposed to have development in all our communities. You like, you wear white and white like a traditional uh, native uh, doctor and come here to tell me whoever. Come and do room and pre-commentarial uh, roads. So, since 1999, you have been suffering. Why didn't you die that? Why is it my own time now? If it is a prayer that you will die, I can't do anything. Don't worry. God's time is the best. It can be done tomorrow morning. You never can tell. So, you are getting all the projects. But you don't vote more than my local government, even my ward. My ward vote brings two times your local government vote in every election. Two times. Two times. But see what you are getting. My, I'm talking about ward, though. I'm not talking about local government. Ward, ward, ward. We produce two times your local government vote in every election. So if we do it by that way, get according to vote. So, what has my word uh, gotten? So, don't go there. If they will begin to do, get as you vote. But you are not getting as, get as you in law. Instead of get as you vote. So, let me say clearly that what we are doing, we are ending our flagging off. I've just told the Commissioner of Works 
to go to Bundu Waterside in Port Harcourt and scoop it. That will be the final and Yege Road in Bori. Those are the two final roads. For now, we are going to flag off. On Monday, we are starting our campaigns. All we are doing here is not campaign, though. What we have come for is to flag off and also commission projects. So Monday, we are starting our flagging of campaign. And let our people know, the Russian people, we are starting off with Obo Obo Mandani local government, where the director general of our campaign comes from. And then we move on. But what is important is, what we are doing now is, anybody who comes to you, ask the person, or ask the persons or groups of persons that will come, what do you have for us? Do you understand me? Tell them your vote is based on project, based on dividend of uh, democracy. If you give us vote, if you give us project, we'll give you vote. If you make promise to us, we'll give you promise. No, so. If you say we will do, who will say we will do? But if I give you, you say I will give you. No, so. As far as giving, you, won't you give us? Uh -huh. If you didn't dare, you didn't dare. Since you are bringing promise, who will give you promise? Promise that too. So, everybody, not importantly that, it's better to vote our governorship candidate for consolidation. If you don't vote for a governorship candidate, and you go allow another person to come, most of the things we are doing, they will abandon it. Is that not correct? So it is important for you to continue where I'm stopping. Let somebody continue from there. Let Edison go back. Do you understand me? And continue from that episode. Rod Solomon Bob go back and continue the good English in the up in the lower chamber. Not so. What's your assembly person, the woman? Queen. And let the assembly person now who was come, all the candidates should come out. Senatorial, House of Assembly, House of Reps, Governorship and Deputy. If we can bless you, if we can bless you, yes, so we can bless you, Hunger go disappear. If we can bless you, if we can bless you, yes, so we can bless you, Hunger go now, why I said that it's better, first of all, to work with the consolidation team. This consolidation team, you are seeing them here, who will continue with where I have stopped or where I'm going to stop by May 29. 2023. The reason being that since I came 2015, 29th of May 2015, you can see how we have transformed the state. You can see how we have gone to other local governments to make sure that everybody gets dividend of democracy. We say we are going to dualize first phase of Ahuda, and we have done that, yes. Now we have promised you that Jonas Bayer will continue to do and that's why we stop from Ahuda to Omok. You can imagine where we have taken from Ahuda down to Omok. You can imagine what development will uh, be. And so there's a need for you to support our governorship candidate and his deputy, who is a professor, a woman. It was when we came that we started that women should be given the opportunity. And that's why, as we are living with my deputy governor, who's a woman, we still brought another woman, this time around, from Orashi town. A woman that people know her contribution university, a woman who has worked as former commissioner, a woman who has had all the experience she required in terms of civil service and in terms of political appointments. So, we are presenting to you the governorship candidate and his deputy, Similai Fubara and Professor Ngozi Mma Odo. These are people who you should support. 
I will tell you something about those who say they want to run governor and deputy. I will tell you about them. The deputy governor has served well and shown capacity, humility, and loyalty. And so it's okay. Let her go and present us in the Senate with a wealth of experience, not as a former deputy governor, as a former permanent secretary, as a former secretary to government, as a former head of service. So she combines it all an experienced medical practitioner. Let her go to Senate and represent us in the diverse West Central uh, District. Then, in the House of Reps,